Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from Teslong. This is their digital microscope and endoscope. It's a two-in-one uh, with up to 200x magnification. It records in 720p uh, HD, so you've got that there. Uh, and it does have two connections here, one for PC and Mac, uh, which is a full USB, and the other one for Android phone, which you just flip it down and it becomes a micro USB. So that's very cool. Uh, I don't have a Mac to test this on. I did test it on PC, and I will show you a demonstration on Android, uh, but I do not have a Mac to test it on. Uh, the model number on here is MS100. Uh, the magnification is 10 uh, to 200x, uh, so you will have, depending on how far away you get, uh, it also has a focal range of 10 millimeters to 500 millimeters, uh, so you can get further away uh, and, and get a good picture. Resolution is 1280 by 720, so that HD resolu resolution there, USB and micro USB for the port. So let's open it up and show you how it comes packaged. Uh, here is the endoscope itself, and I've kind of got it just all in here. Uh, I'll set that to the side, these to the side, and the stand to the side so that we have that. And they give you a manual here. This will basically cover, you know, the uh, adapters that you can use on this. Uh, you know, if you're, say, taking pictures of something like your arm or something like that or uh, a, a spot where you want to have focused light, uh, they give you a couple of these uh, extenders here that will go over. And then you'll put that area over, say, I wanted to take a picture of my palm or something like that. Uh, all the LEDs on the end of the endoscope will actually focus right onto that spot so you can get specific spots spots if you need to. They give you a right angle mirror as well so that you can add that to it as well. Now they've got a nice stand here. It's made out of metal. This is a metal stand, uh, very secure, and it will take the endoscope uh, in this side here. And as you can see, you've got six LED lights around the outside of the lens. It's IP67 waterproof. Uh, so you've got that. And then here is your focus ring to allow you to focus on whatever subject that you need to. Uh, you have an inline box here for your brightness on those LEDs, and you can turn it all the way off or all the way bright, depending on how much light you may need. And then you also get your USB, which is a full USB for PC or Mac. And Mac is 10.6 or higher. PC is 7, 8, and 10. And uh, Android is 4.4 or higher. I have uh, Android Marshmallow on my S7 Edge and it works great on that. You'll see that in just a minute. So you can flip this down for OTG so that you can actually hook this right up to your Android phone. So they've cleverly put it in that way. So now if we want to thread this through, we'll just, uh, there's a little spot to uh, unhook that there. And then what we'll do is we'll get it so that it's fairly close to something that we want to uh, take a picture of, like maybe the manual itself and show you how far down we can get on that. Now this is good to hold on to. It just gives you the uh, app for Android users. If you want to, it's on the box as well. You can scan this code. It'll be the ntcsl.apk and it'll come up on your phone or Android device as test long. Uh, and then the software for PC uh, users as well is right here. Uh, again, they do say that it supports Windows 7, 8, and 10. I've tested on Windows 10, Mac 10.6 or higher. I do not have a Mac, so I can't uh, to say anything about that. Uh, and Android 4.4 or later. So you've got all of that uh, nicely uh, put in here as well as some of the uh, features of each of the apps for Windows and for Android. So hold on to this because you may need it or want to refer to it. Now, if we want to hook this up to our phone, very simple. Uh, you just flip this guy down and then you hook it up to your phone. And it's gonna ask me if I want to launch ANC because I have another one for another endoscope that I did. I'm gonna cancel it. The one that you're looking for is called Test Long Camera uh, to work with this one or specifically. Now, ANC may work with it. Uh, I don't know for sure. Uh, but now it'll ask you whether it's a Wi-Fi endoscope because they do sell those as well or a USB endoscope. Of course, I'm going to select USB endoscope and it is going to ask me if I want to allow it to the camera to access the USB device. And I say, of course. So here we are on a white background. Obviously, that's just the table. I am going to look at some of this text here. And if I want to make this text uh, more focused, I can just adjust the focus ring at the top to get this in focus and you can see it can get very, very uh, well in focus there uh, and you can get very, very close. So if I want to get even closer uh, and get closer to that 200 
uh, magnification here. Let's get down really close and see how close we can magnify. Okay, so we've got this here, and then we'll adjust our focus ring a little bit more. And as you can see, we are really focused on this as one little tiny word, and you can even see the a portion of the paper. So if I want to take a picture of it, I can just snap a quick picture. If I want to take a video of whatever I'm looking at, I've got that there. Uh, so they did a really nice stable job on this actual uh, endoscope. And as you can see, you can get in really, really super close. I can see the fibers in the paper. Uh, so they did an awesome job on this. And it works just as well for PC. Again, I didn't test Mac for you guys. Sorry, you Mac users. Uh, but if they say it works with it, I'm uh, inclined to believe that it will do so. Uh, Teslong did a great job on this. I really like it. I like the fact that it's an endoscope and a magnifier because of the way you have to make that extra step to do the magnification of adjusting this in the secondary, but it works very well. Uh, the uh, quality is, is, is awesome on this. As you can see, you can get very, very close on any object that you would like. So I'm definitely giving this a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments about this endoscope or magnifier, uh, leave them in the comment section below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. Remember to like and subscribe and I will check you out on the next video.